hello guys uh, welcome back to our youtube uh, channel gift varsity tv uh, this is your host gift Pozekana. Uh, as i always say that uh, in this channel we, we bring the best uh, so that you can become the best and also be motivated to do your best in your academics uh, today i have a, a, a visitor here can you please introduce yourself i, I will hold it all right, right. Uh, my name is Senor Clement Morubani and I have studied to become a chartered accountant and I have recently qualified. Wow, that, that, that's great news. Uh, in, in this channel today we have a qualified uh, chartered accountant, you see? Yeah, so tell us uh, where, where are you from? Um, originally I'm from Fiking uh, in the northwest but now I'm currently residing here in Rodeport. Oh, in Rodeport. Yeah, so you, you, which subject did you do in high school? I wanted to become a chartered accountant. So the subject that I did uh, in high school, uh, uh, more mainly commercial studies. And then, like I said, they include accounting, business studies, and then economics and pure maths. So when I was in grade 12, um, I changed my pure maths to maths literacy due to the difficulty. Um, but then when I went to, to, uh, to UJ, they said, no, you can't proceed uh, with BCom Accounting uh, because you have met slate. You need to go back and do what is called extended BCom Accounting. Uh, instead of you doing three years BCom Accounting, you're doing it four years. Yeah. So I did select that option. So I did my, uh, uh, my extended degree and I did my BCom Accounting. And then after that, I did what is called BCTA. And then after passing my BCTA, I did my CTA with uh, U okay. UJ. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, I'm coming on that. Okay, yeah. So, so you applied net. yeah for this extended program, yeah. then you 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 went uh, and you did uh, become accounting. Yeah. All right. So tell us now your your journey as an accounting student now. <laughs> okay. Um. It 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 it, it was rough. Uh, I don't want to lie. When you get to to, to this career. Um, it's not an easy one. It's possible, but it comes with challenges. You just need to be consistent and in it, and then you you need to be accountable. You know. So yeah, here's me. I did my extended BCom accounting. I'm doing my uh, my BCom accounting. It was it, then... it, it, like I said, it was not an easy journey, but I managed through. Uh, uh, I was consistent with my my studies. Uh, I had friends that supported me in this journey and then i had a family that sub did support me as well so okay it, yeah. okay to add more I, I, why i want to ask the the method that you used to to study accounting like uh, in your become degree you know what did you do to make sure that you, you get great marks until you become a qualified uh, chartered accountant so the tips that i can give is that i will start with you being consistent Yes, the challenges, just the challenges are there. But you know, um, I would uh, wake up, attend, attend my classes, and then after maybe attending my classes, I would go home and then look at my books, study, uh, absorb as much information. If I don't understand, I will consult. You know, sometimes we don't use the consulting slot a lot because we're thinking, ah, it's not for us, or or maybe you are shy or something. But it's really there to help you. Yeah, so you, you said you must become uh, consistent at all times. So yeah, yeah, you, you, you become accountable with your work. So now you 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 continued uh, until you graduated with your become accounting degree now. And so tell us now uh, what is it? You were talking about CTA now. After the become, uh, what route do you do you take? Yes. Okay, now when you are done with your become become accounting, uh, you need to do what is called uh, BCTA. So now you are bridging into the certificate in theory of accounting. That's why CTA. Um, but you're only doing this because you did become accounting. You didn't do BEC, which is straight, which will straight take you to the CTA route. So CTA is an honors. Yeah. And then it's preparing you to do what is called the ITC, which is the board exam uh, offered by SICA, the first board, board exam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you, you, you completed and you graduated and you, you're excited now that you... you, you. So you recently uh, be, uh, uh, became a qualified SCA. 
how did you feel about that <laughs> okay let's start with uh the journey how how from from when you are done with your cta or when you are still in your cta uh because i think the city is the one with more 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 challenges um, remember you need to pass everything all the four modules we have auditing we have accounting we have tax and then we have uh finance you need to pass all these four modules in one year that's the trick um, even if you pass the other modules with 50 or you have high marks on them but if you fail one out of that you already failed the the the, the, the course so we would spend a lot of time at the dungeon uh there's a 24 library section we call it the dungeon at uj um you see a lot of us going there to study seek advice from other students like how do you do this topic um how how, how to overcome it so yes here's me doing my cta and then um in 2017 so it didn't go well so uh, I went to the department and then they were like, no, your accounting is slow. You can't even repeat with us here in UJ. So, okay, I took it, but I'm still in my mind that this is my journey. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not a failure until I quit or until I say so. All right, nobody's going to tell me or no people is going to tell me that I'm a failure. I'm still continuing with this because it's still in my mind. If it's in my mind, which means God is telling me, it's still the root. You get it? Here's me, I'm applying at UNISA. UNISA, I got there, I did my city, my, uh, they call it CTA level two for, uh, for the first time again at, 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 at uh, UNISA. And then I failed, which means I'm failing on us twice now. If, if I was someone else, I was gonna give up, but I was like, this is the journey. It, it, it's not a race, it's a marathon, you know? And then yes, I, I, I I'm, I did again my CTA level two in 2019, and that's when I passed uh, my modules, and then I passed CTA. Um, in 2017, I'm doing this CTA concurrently with my articles. So, when you becoming a chartered accountant, there's something that we call articles. You need to do them for three years. Um, I did my articles with Season Zaluba Goboto, recently known as SNG Grand Thornton. Uh, that's where you do the audits of companies and all that their financials so that you gain experience. I did that, that I completed my articles with SNG in 2020. I said 2020, I think in 2021, January. And then I did enroll with Enjuna uh, More, that's an external support uh, uh, for, for, for my ITC. Uh, remember, ITC now it's the first board exam after you pass your CTA. The first board exam with Saika. Um, I didn't pass it the first time, but you can write it uh, twice in in a year because you write it in January and then you write it as well in April. So if you pass the first time in January, you don't need to write it in 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 in, in June. So if you do fail in January, you have another second opportunity to write it in 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 in, in June. Yes. Yeah. It's, I think it's June or April somewhere there. And then. I tried it for the second time. I passed the, the joy out of that because now, when you pass ITC, which means your CTA cannot expire. You see the difficulty again. The challenge is coming again. When you pass your CTA, you have what we call six attempts, which means it's three years for you to pass your first board ITC. If you fail those attempts and you don't get your ITC, you need to go and repeat your honors, which is CTA. So you don't want to do that. So I passed mine in a second attempt. I was happy. I was like, now I'm going to relax a little bit. Um, because now I did uh, uh, finish my articles, which means now I can go and do my, my second board. I've, I finished my articles and then I, I, I have my CTA and I have my ITC now. So, which means I'm now eligible to go and write what is called the APC. Not that eligible, but you need to go, before you write your APC as well, you need to write what is called APT. This APT is making sure that, is telling Saika that, you, Saika, this candidate is ready to go and write the APC. 
right so that's why the way they train you to be professional um how to communicate clearly not to be technical because sometimes when you when you study this uh, uh ca route you, you only become technical at most so now when apt apt comes in because now you're going to be a board member somewhere you're going to work with other people who are not chartered accountants so some of the information that i've already told you are, are, are more understood are understood by cta people or people who are already chartered accountants you know now you need to go and do apt so that we can smooth your communication so that you can speak and people who are not cas can understand you when you're trying to solve the business uh, uh, issues or challenges we all need to understand you i can come with my uh, ca jargon and just put it in the boardroom and people are just confused what's going on so apt is, is also trying to close that gap be technical but be able to communicate with other people who are not cas right thank you thank you let's hope uh, accounting students who are watching us currently you understand that uh, you still have a, a journey that is ahead of you that you still uh, need to prepare yourself for. So uh, now there is a grade 12 learner they are doing great, uh, maybe they are watching us now. They are doing grade 12. Né? They are still uh, confused about this uh, CTA, TF, what, what. <laughs> like, tell us, uh, what is um, accounting all about? Né? The t accounting just only accounting not we're not we're not there about chartered accounting what is accounting all about accounting is all about records keeping the historical of all the finances of the company uh you know accounting are, are more of to say being accountable right being able to account the company being able to account or okay there was a transaction Remember, if there are no accountants, which means there's no history that's going to be recorded to say, okay, here's a JC of Betunana, it's been sold, and this uh, JC is 350 or 360, and the quantity that we have now maybe is 200 quantities. We need to account for that, that in our stock we have JCs Betunana, the quantity is 200, and the price immediately is immediately when we sell start to account you get it to account with the years this we sold this much and then uh, uh, uh here's the profit so we account to put those in in documentation or we jot them down to show other external uh, uh parties to say here's betunana betunana sold this and so that here's the profit that's all about accounting it's more about historical events putting them into paper and making the external people to understand so okay all right uh, i hear that talking about uh, it's all about being accountable for all the transactions uh, occurring in the business and stuff so now so what does a chartered accountant do and what can i do if i'm a chartered accountant where can i work so the job opportunities now so that we can come a chartered accountant like it's 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 a designation and then with that designation you can be anything you want you get it remember i told you about the four disciplines that we did accounting auditing tax and finance so which means you can be all these four if you want i can be an accountant i can be an auditor i can be a financial manager and i can be a tax practitioner or i can be all of them but most of the time you see them in audit firms like kpmg sng uh, we're doing the audits of the books like if the transaction are recorded fairly correctly so that investors when they come and want to invest they can see all the records and events that i was telling you about that they are true and fair recorded you get it so you can be in a corporate be you can even open your own business and be but you now you need to register with EBA if you want to be to, to to be the person also who's uh, uh providing the 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 what what can i say if you want to be the firm that is 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 providing those services of 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 you uh providing audits right remember when you sign a report we sign it based on a firm because the firm is the one that is registered with what with EBA 
so to answer your question you can become anything out of those four disciplines that i have mentioned to you okay okay that's great that's great yeah you can become anything you want basically can you become like now um okay i don't want to bring hobbies on, on top of it now but i want just want to say like it does also give you the time as well to to do even your hobbies that you want i'm, I'm an artist i'm a pencil drawer uh, um, I do sketches and all that. You see, now I have that time to even do whatever that I want, not only focusing on the C uh, uh, stuff. But now, you only your question was more based of what can I do as as as, as yeah, you, you become can become a channel accountant and you can also do other things. Okay, yeah. Just now to to wrap up now. You see, so there is an accounting student that is watching us currently grade 12 grade 11 even grade 10 you know they want to be a chartered accountant one day mm -hmm. also there is a student who's doing either accounting science either become accounting and they still want to become chartered accountants just look at them and talk to them motivate them yes yeah. mm -hmm. okay um i just wanted to say um let's start with the students who um maybe even though even those who are still in varsity uh, even those in grade 12 who want to become chartered accountants um, even if you didn't do commercial studies there in, 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 in grade 12 you still can become a chartered accountant I have friends who didn't know anything about accounting while they were still in, in high school or doing their metric you see and they qualified because when you get to first day you're still going to be taught what is an asset an asset is a resource that is controlled by an entity you get it of which economic future benefits are expected to flow in into it you're still going to be taken step by step to understand those um, guys it's not a, an easy journey uh, you can be emotional on it. It, it 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 can destroy you if you let it but i can tell you if i can do it everyone can do it uh, have a positive mind um, failure is not there to keep you down in failure don't take it as a negativity because failure leave you with leaves you with an experience you don't come the same as you were you come out with experience in failure so take that experience and then dust yourself and go forward you know if God says you are going to be something, you are going to be something. If it's in your mind and you believe that you can become that thing, don't listen to anyone. Don't listen to any paper that is telling you that, ah, you have failed, which means you are a failure. You only fail when you say so. You only fail when you tell your mind that I have failed. So, guys, be strong. If it comes with challenges, challenge it. Challenge it as well. Put, put in the effort. Be consistent and again like i said it's not a race focus on yourself focus on your studies it's just a marathon you will reach the end thank you so much uh, 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 for your time our qualified chartered accountant and let's hope you two guys who are watching us now uh, it's possible uh, he did fail uh, several times but uh, he didn't give up on his journey uh, today uh, he is a qualified chartered accountant so it's uh, it's possible uh, indeed let's hope you you learned something uh, from this interview today you heard that even if you didn't do uh, accounting in high school you can still do accounting in university and you can even excel more than those who did accounting in high school so it's up to you to decide which, uh, which um, what do you really want uh, so thank you so much for your time uh, mr uh, all the best with your career journey and stuff so guys if you want to ask him about other things uh, i will leave his email uh, down in the description uh, box uh, thank you so much for watching uh, all the best with your studies grade 12 if you are a student all the best with your journey of becoming an, a chartered accountant gift varsity tv this is your host gift for zagana uh, thank you so much for watching to subscribe uh, subscribe like our video so that more people can be able to view it and share as much as possible around the country even around the world so i saw that even other people in their countries they do watch at uh, this channel thank you so much for watching bye